Hello everybody! In this short tutorial you will learn about the basic functionality of SysAid. We will show you how end users submit service requests and how SysAid helps IT administrators manage them easily and efficiently. Ready to begin? Click on the start button. Meet Jenny. Jenny is a marketing coordinator at GNS Incorporated. Jenny is working on a PowerPoint presentation for an important meeting. She tried to import some statistics from the ERP and received an error message. Jenny needs help. She hits F11, which launches the SysAid end user portal. She describes the problem, and the program automatically adds the screenshot showing the error message she got. Instantly, she receives an email confirmation with a tracking number saying that her request is being handled. Meet Joe. Joe is an experienced IT administrator at GNS. Five months ago, he installed SysAid to manage his IT tasks. Joe opens SysAid and finds Jenny's service request on his assigned list marked as high urgency. Taking a look at the screenshot, Joe notices the error message. He searches SysAid's integrated knowledge base using keywords from the error message. The retrieved information indicates that the problem could be related to corrupt installation. Joe finds Jenny's phone number in the service request. Her details have been automatically imported from the Active Directory. Hi Jenny, Joe from IT here. Hi Joe, thanks for calling so quickly. I'm in trouble. I promised to prepare this presentation for Brad, the VP Marketing, and now I have nothing. Don't worry, I'll remote control your computer and fix it in a few minutes. Using SysAid's remote control module, Joe takes control of Jenny's computer to reinstall some components. Then, he closes the service request. Jenny gets an automatic email saying her service request has been handled. Jenny is relieved to continue working on the presentation. We just demonstrated a common scenario showing how SysAid streamlines the interaction between the end user and the IT administrator and saves time for both of them. Now let's take a look at another scene, showing SysAid capabilities in email integration, escalation rules, and notifications. Meet Brad, the marketing VP of GNS and Jenny's boss. Brad is on a business trip in Madrid, rehearsing for a presentation in a professional seminar. He has trouble connecting to the VPN. Brad sends an email to a designated mailbox designed to address urgent requests for traveling employees. Brad's email turns automatically into a new service request. After a set period of time when the request has not been handled yet, SysAid escalates the priority of the service request. Since the service request is now on high priority, it is also communicated by text message to the assigned administrator. Meanwhile, Joe is in a meeting when he gets the text message about Brad's service request. Happy to leave the meeting, Joe rushes to his workstation. He checks and finds out that the problem lies in Brad's remote permissions. He grants Brad the appropriate permissions and asks him to try again to reconnect. In no time, the VPN connection is up and running. Joe's happy. Using SysAid, he saved the presentation, saved much time, and saved the day.